All right, welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. That's that's definitely on a Wednesday because we have two kids and life has been crazy. Really good, but really, you know, two kids. We're a month in though now, we're, we're starting to get some sleep. So I should be back to making more than one video a week very soon. In today's video though, we are gonna be talking about skin tones in Premiere Pro. So, so getting accurate skin tones while you're color grading. It's one of the trickiest things to do because you start you start playing with colors and, and doing different things and, and trying to get a certain look, but then the skin tones look all wonky. And today I'm gonna to show you one tool within Premiere Pro to let you know whether your skin tones have gotten wonky or if you have them dialed in and they look like skin tones. First though, diaper shout outs because you guys have been so rad about picking up so much merch from the merch shop. We've got we got a bunch of diaper shout outs today. And if you haven't gotten your shout out yet, go to go to the merch shop, pick up a shirt or a hoodie and and you get a shout out on the channel like this. Gary Pollard from Stockton on Tees United Kingdom. What's up Gary? Thank you for ordering a shirt to the United Kingdom. That is so cool. Joshua J. Richard from Charlotte, North Carolina. Denise Varga from Rocky Hill, New Jersey. Mark Wyatt, Georgetown, Ontario, Canada. What's up, Canada? Micah Habershaw, Clemens, North Carolina. Thank you, Micah. Glenn Smith from Vero Beach, Florida. Hey, Glenn. Alejandro Guerrero from El Paso, Texas. My, my parents used to live there. Edgar Arandondo from Garden Grove, California. Garden Grove is one of my favorite Sublime songs. We've got Dylan Ganatra in Chula Vista, California. That's like, it's like right down the street. Niklas Hendricks from, mm, I think it's Worms. It's, it's spelled like worms, but you know, Germans do the W as a V. So I'm gonna say Niklas Hendricks from Worms, Germany. <laughs> Was that close? Worms. We've got Chris Anderson from San Luis Obispo, California, one of our favorite spots to drink wine at. Mark Wenning from Queen Creek, Arizona. Steve Yaliso from Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's where, you know, football and all that. Masashi Borges Silva from New York, New York. What's up, New York? We got Shad Richardson from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Corey Cedar from Alpharetta, Georgia. What's up, Georgia? Otto Mendez, Longview, Texas. I shot a wedding in Longview, Texas. McGill Pacheco from Miami, Florida. So many Miami Floridians. Floridians? Jared Spink, Escondido, California. Jared, you're like, you're like my neighbor, dude. I should have just brought this over to you. And last but not least, Dana Childs from Rancho Santa Margarita, California. Dana and I talk on the on the text line a bunch, so I know Dana. Thank you, Dana. If you haven't texted me yet, Text me at the text line below, but also go pick yourself up a shirt and get get a shout out on the channel. Okay, into our quick tip for today, and we're gonna be looking at skin tones in Premiere Pro. And one of the one of the main issues with trying to get skin tones accurate just by looking at your monitor is your monitor might not be calibrated properly, but also the light in the room changes how you're viewing the colors in the image, and just staring at an edit for a long period of time, your your eyes get tricked. Your eyes can be tricked very easily. Sometimes you're editing and then you walk away for like 15 minutes to take a break. You come back and you go, ah, what was that? And you realize it's like way too green or it's way too magenta or way too warm. So we're gonna be using a tool today that does not rely on your eyes, that again can be totally tricked. It's going to rely on the actual colors and the actual data in the image. And for this today, we're gonna be looking at a clip from this desk. You're just gonna be checking out kind of my skin tones. You can see me looking forward at both sides. We're gonna get this skin tone fairly dialed in. And the thing with this setup is one, I have a custom white balance on the camera. This light is always the same. Nothing changes in this setup. So the skin tones should be fairly close just straight out of camera, but we are gonna tweak them and dial them in so that they're perfect. Okay, into Premiere Pro and we have our clip down here. You can see that I look both ways. So we can really see the skin tone on both sides, but I'm gonna start with just this forward facing shot. And of course, the first thing we're gonna do is go to our color tab. And in our color tab, what we're looking for is over here on the left is Lumetri Scopes. And when you first click into Lumetri Scopes, if you haven't used them before, you might have a histogram there, you might have the parade on. So it might look like this. The one that you're looking for, the one that you really wanna have is this top left one. And this under here is called Vectorscope YUV. And today we're gonna to be working with Vectorscope YUV and our Luma waveform. So I'm gonna turn off parade 
and I'm gonna turn off histogram so these two can get nice and big. So both of these are showing us actual data from our image. It's not just a, a what I'm looking at kind of thing. It's here's the actual data. Here's where it lays out on a chart. So over here on the right on the Luma chart, this is how bright things are, how dark things are. So if I was to take my exposure and I was to crank it up, you'll see the Luma chart moves up all the way to the clipping. If I move it way down, it goes down all the way to dark. So it's referring to the light and dark values in my image. So I'll go ahead and reset that exposure there. And then on the left, the vector scope is showing me where the colors are in my image, right? So watch, watch if I crank up saturation, they kind of bloom out from the middle. And if I crank down saturation, they shrink to the middle. And where they're going is showing me the different values. So if, if everything in this image was green, they would all be shooting to the green. So all the different little outshoots are, are things that are actually in this image. Like my blue hat, there's gonna be one of the little spikes is shooting towards blue. And then one of them is my skin color. And very cleverly in here, this line right here, this line going through my vector scope, the one that goes from the top left to the bottom right. This is our skin tones line. Premiere Pro has this built in there. That's where your skin tones should be. But it's super confusing when you're looking at a full image, right? So we need to focus just on our skin tones. And to do that, we are gonna put a small mask on our image. So I'm gonna go to effect controls. Make sure your clip is selected down here. Go to effect controls. And under opacity, I'm gonna grab this guy, which is our free draw Bezier. And then over here, we'll zoom in just a little bit. And right here on my actual face, I'm gonna draw a triangle right like that. And boom, now we only have skin tones. Nothing else is in the image. The rest of the image has been masked off. And now I'm only focused on my skin tone. So now when I go back to Lumetri scopes, boom, there are my skin tones, both on the vector scope and on the waveform. So on the waveform, I can see that my skin tones are falling somewhere between 50 and 70. I actually usually like them a touch brighter. I kind of want the, the middle of those to be right around that 70 mark. I kind of like them right between 60 and 80 here. And then over on the vector scope, I'm seeing kind of where my skin tones fall between yellow and red. If I, if I was to go over here and play with the temperatures and I was to grab the tint slider and I cranked it all the way to green, watch the vector scope move. Those tones are moving way, way over towards green. If I move it all the way over to magenta, it starts moving towards red and magenta. And again, because I only have my skin tone selected, that's, that's exactly what I'm seeing. Now, ideally, what Premiere wants you to have is that skin tone should be right on the line, right there on the line. And that that's what Premiere Pro would say is skin tone color. But you can kind of, you can play with it a few degrees magenta or a few degrees green, totally based on, on what you like. So we'll go into our effect controls. I'm just gonna delete this mask real quick so we can see. Yeah, I would look at that and I would say that's a little green for my taste. The skin tones look great, but I, I like a little bit more magenta in them. So we'll undo that delete. So now I'm back to my mask, go back to my Lumetri scopes. And instead of those values being right on the line, I'm gonna grab my tint slider and I'm gonna move it up just a tiny bit so that all the values lie just north of the line towards magentas. I'm gonna go back onto my effects control. We'll delete that mask again. And those look almost perfect. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say those are almost perfect skin tones right there for my taste. Again, some people, some people might move it just south of the line to the green or right on the line. I personally like to be just north of that line. And then I know my skin tones are always accurate from clip to clip. So if I have, if I have 10 clips that are all a little different, if I go through all 10 of them and I get the skin tones to be exactly in the same spot, I know now that the skin tones for all all 10 clips, they, they match. And it's not gonna be weird going from clip to clip and my skin going from green to more magenta to more, to more yellow or more blue. All of that's kind of dialed in because I have this reference point for what my skin should look like. But there is a second way to do it. There's a second way to tweak your skin tones without changing anything else in the image. So with this one, I was nice and close. So I, I really only moved I moved my tint slider three degrees negative, basically, which really isn't very much. But if you were off significantly more, maybe you were off by, by 10 points. If I was to move the tint slider 10 points one way or the other, now the entire image gets really green. Or if I go the other way, the entire image gets 
quite magenta. So how can we use the same technique using the skin tone line, but only affect skin tones and not affect anything else in the image? And that is also super simple. So in the color tab, we have our clip selected. We've got our effect. We're gonna draw that same triangle so that we only have our skin tones. Bink, we'll go over to our lumetri scopes. There is our skin tone line. And this time, instead of using the basic correction panel, I'm gonna go down to the curves panel. And here's our RGB curves. And if we go down here, and we're gonna use hue versus hue, which means that I can select a hue, that, that singular hue out of the image, and then I can grab that and I can kind of tweak it one way or the other. In this case, we're, we're gonna grab skin tones. So in hue versus hue, we're gonna grab this little eyedropper and I'm gonna click right on there. And now I have these three dots, and this is technically our middle dot, even though this one kind of wraps the, the image. This is our middle dot, and you'll see that if I grab this dot and I pull it up, look at my vector scope, the skin tones are moving way towards magenta. If I pull it down, I can move my skin tones way towards green. Now in this case, again, I'm trying to get my skin tones so that they're nice and close to that skin tone line, and then I wanna just cheat them back just a touch. And again, because I'm using a custom white balance for this setup, the skin tones were already really close for this setup, so I'm really not moving it very much, but you can still understand how this whole thing works. We turn that mask off, and this time we have perfect skin tones but nothing else in our image was changed. Really clean skin tone. So there's two ways to do it. You can either use your basic color correction or you can go down into the curves, use that hue versus hue and just tweak your skin tones. So those are the tools, but, but again, play around with it so that it looks good to you. So again, you might want skin tones a little more magenta. You might want them a little more green, totally up to you. But that skin tone line is a reference point and it works for all ethnicities. It works for, for everyone. It is, it's just human skin skin tone. Doesn't matter what color person you are, that skin tone line, it it works. And that's it. Super simple, quick tip, but a really powerful tool within Premiere Pro to make sure that your skin tones always look natural. I hope that was helpful for you guys. You guys are awesome. Go shoot over to the merch shop if you want a shout out on the channel. And uh, yeah, maybe one day I'll get Quick Tip Tuesdays back on Tuesday. Kids, man, they do look, Eleanor, Eleanor made me, Eleanor made me bracelets for Father's Day. One says Eleanor and one says Penelope. Now she's two, so Morgan helped out here, but Eleanor picked out all the beads. Like she picked out all the colors and, and the order they would go in and Morgan just put them on the string for her. Yeah, and I, I freaking love it. She did this and a mug and now, yeah. Yeah, gifts like that, man. They get you. All right, I'll see you guys soon. And now I'm gonna go drink a coffee. It's 2 p.m. and I'm exhausted. <laughs>